Sangamo is a genomic medicine company. We've been going for 25 years, but in the last three years have reinvented ourselves as a company that will do gene and genome editing and gene therapy. And we're delighted with the progress we've made moving our medicines into patients and into clinical trials. Haemophilia A is a gene therapy, so it's a more simple, if I may, or more conventional form of genomic medicine. And in that, we put a new copy of the gene in the cell, but don't stitch it in permanently into the genome. Um, it's an area that has advanced greatly in the past few years, led by Biomarin and their results, and, and then with Spark, and, and we're close on their heels. And in that, we have shown um, a month or two ago, we showed some very encouraging results from our patients at the top dose of 3E13. Now, for, for haemophilia, it's two parts to it. One is the levels you achieve, and also the second part is, can do they remain, do they show do they sustain over time? And so we're at an early stage, but so far the results are encouraging, and we hope that we can provide a good solution for patients. Because what the patients want are three things. They want it to be predictable, that is, can you tell what dose will lead to what, lead to what level? They want it to be sustainable, that means that they can have a benefit for many years, and they want it, most importantly, to be safe. And all of those things are part of the contract that we have with the patients we serve. So haemophilia A is actually a, a medium rare disease. So it's a disease where there is a sufficient population, a, a large population that will allow for several different uh, clinical trial programs to be going at one time. It's essential that you work well with the patient advocacy groups because the individual patients may not fully understand the options that are available to them. In addition for haemophilia A, there was the disaster of HIV tainted blood factor that happened some years ago that has left the community anxious and very careful about the clinical research that they get involved in. So we spend time with the patient support groups and the advocacy groups that, that are, are part of that so as we can take the time to explain it. This isn't a quick decision for any individual patient, but something they should take the time and understand because this is something that they're hopefully going to benefit them for many years to come.